coming up in this read. Yeah, you're very, very different. You felt different your entire life. You've always known that that there was something um, that you were supposed to do in this lifetime. And you were absolutely correct. Hi Virgo, let's get into your September reading. As always, any information that you need, you can find it all in my pinned comment and in my description box below. If you're cross-watching for a Virgo, then please switch over the energies because I could be speaking directly to you, so the energy can be interchangeable. And please do bear in mind that this is a general reading, so there is absolutely no way that this is going to resonate for a everybody you only take what's resonating specifically for you and you leave what doesn't resonate for you for someone else okay please also do respect the tarot and approach it with patience an open mind and without expectations and finally if you don't want to miss a video then subscribe and stay notified okay so virgo um I don't know if you've seen the community post that, that I've made that are about the content of this month's readings. Um, if you haven't seen it yet, then you might want to go check it, check that out. Um, because basically it, it's really important that I bring awareness to the context of this month's reads. Okay, They're not the usual reads, not at all. Right. All of these reads have been pertaining to uh, what part everybody has to play with this uh, world change, with the world changes that, that we're seeing that's playing out. OK, that's that has been the theme of these reads. So, again, really important that, that you look at these reads with a very, very open mind and. Yeah, don't don't worry about surface level BS at the moment, okay, because the messages have all been about how everybody needs to take a closer look at the bigger picture and, and really see everything else that's going on beyond the troubles in our own personal lives, okay. Um, so the part that you have to play in this uh, great reset, basically, um, Nine of Wands, Page of Cups, The Hermit, it's your Major Arcana, Queen of Cups, don't get too distracted by the gender, okay? It's just the polarization of the feminine and masculine principle. The the fool and the five of swords with the five of coins. Okay. So this general feeling of unrest, everybody fighting each other, everybody finger pointing and not seeing who it is that, that we're needing to point the fingers at the actual perpetrators rather than each other. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you're becoming incredibly frustrated and upset by this Virgo because you're seeing it. You're seeing it for exactly what it is. You're seeing it in the media. You're seeing it everywhere you look. Where fabricated tales are being spun about how we all need to be fighting with each other and how we all should be blaming each other for, for the state that things are in at the moment <clears throat> and you're there like that guys it's bullshit look at what it is that they're doing it's time it, it's time for us all to start pilling together and seeing the bullshit for what it actually is and blaming those who legit are to blame in, instead of being distracted by by these media stories of this is the reason why everybody's poor and, and blaming a set group of people that actually have nothing to do with, with, with the reason why we're all in this five of coins energy at all. But they are equally in that five of coins energy too. And the ones who are actually responsible for this, for everyone being in the five of coins, are sitting high in their ivory fucking towers, untouchable. And that's exactly what's changing. 
You're pulling people together here, Virgo. This is the part that, that you specifically will be playing. Queen of Cups, healer energy. The Hermit, your major arcana, right next to the Queen of Cups. Teaching people how to be more loving, caring and compassionate to others. The message does not get clearer than that. It really, really doesn't. So the part that you play, Virgo Collective, you're going to be the spiritual healers. That That's your part. Everybody has their part to play in this. Okay. Everybody. And, and th this is the part that, that you play. Showing others to how, how to have care, love and compassion for their fellow people. And now that's not an easy task. Not even remotely. You're also teaching others the value of forgiveness. It's, it's tied in with that. The value of forgiveness, but specifically self-forgiveness. I'm not talking like forgive and forget your perpetrators because that's bullshit. This is self-forgiveness. You're teaching others how to put boundaries in place. You're showing others what the what that word actually means because believe it or not, a lot of people don't actually know what boundaries are. Like, what does it mean? They hear it a lot, but they don't actually know what it means. So you're there like, anything that makes you feel uncomfortable, that's where your boundaries are. That, that's what you're teaching people. You're teaching people to recognise where, where their boundaries are and how they can reinforce it. And you're doing it through love, care and compassion. You are legit the spiritual healers in, in, this, uh, in this great change that, that we're seeing. Like straight up. The, the Fool and the Five of Swords, you're showing people that things are not as hopeless as they initially seem. You're showing people that they're a lot stronger than they give themselves credit for. That That's like strength in numbers type energy, the, the Fool with the Five of Swords. Because right now, look, people feel defeated. You see that? Five of Swords, Five of Coins. <clears throat> people feel defeated. And you know the truth. You know the truth. And the truth is, people feel defeated. Because that that is where those who are currently in power deliberately want people to feel like they're defeated. They deliberately want people to have very limited or no resources because that breeds that mindset of defeat. But what they fail to remember is, oftentimes, and whenever you look throughout history as well, any time the collective has felt defeated, what's happened? The people rise, don't they? They rise and they get fucked off and fed up of this. Mm. Yep. So the role you play is super, super important. Every Everyone's role is important. But yours, I would say your role that you play in this Virgo is the most underestimated because that takes a lot of emotional and spiritual strength. A lot. Can you tell us about the environment, the atmosphere or the people for Virgo? Thank you. Nice big jumps. I like it. Yeah, you see you see that energy shift there, the eight of cups to the to the ten of cups. Uh-huh. The emperor. Exactly. So you're gonna be the backbone. Yeah, you're the backbone of this uh of this world change, Virgo. Mm-hmm. The Emperor, the star, yep. See how that flipped out in reverse, the Eight of Swords reversed. It's beautiful. Yeah. I'm 
Okay. Eight of Cups to the Ten of Cups. So the environment is this movement has already started. It's it, it's it's already in full swing. You're going to see evidence of people um, leaving crap behind that they shouldn't have been involved with in the first place. It's like um, you're seeing how people's priorities are changing with that combination, right? And again, again, see all the cups like it's going to start small. So for anyone who's out there going, well, I'm just one person, it, it's going to start small. It's going to start with your immediate environment to begin with. And then there's going to be a ripple effect. And that ripple effect is going to reach out to more and more and more people. Right. So that that's how you're going to make a change. That's how you're going to make a difference. Um, I'm also getting counselling as well. Eight of Cups to the Ten of Cups. I, I don't know why that's coming through. So I suppose, yes, that does actually tie in with the with the part that you, Virgo Collective, specifically have to play in this. Yes, counselling can be a part of that. It could be... Uh, some of you could be Cups, so emotions and relationships. You could be relationship counsellors. Some of you could be mental health counsellors, some of you could be straight up spiritual counsellors, all types of counselling, all types of counselling. Helping people take back their power as well with the Emperor. Reminding people that they are sovereign. The Emperor, sovereignty right next to the star as well people are listening to you virgo you see that bird people are listening to you people are loving the messages that, that you're giving them people are paying attention it might not feel like people are paying attention you you might be feeling at the moment like you're just wasting your time but stick with it stick with it and keep keep persevering because people the right people are listening Eight of Swords in reverse, helping others to realise that they're not actually stuck or trapped, not as much as they think they are. And seeing the truth and the reality of who it is that's actually going around hurting others and destroying others. You're like, uh, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of keys on a bundle. So it's like you, you're going at, like en energetically. I'm, I'm trying to put a visual to this is so that you can better understand this energy that I'm feeling. So I'm seeing a bunch of keys and, and you're walking, you're walking up to these cages and, and you're unlocking all of these cages and, and the, the people coming out of these cages. That's the part that you that, that you play. You're freeing up the minds and, and the souls of the collective. You're, you're opening up these cages. So the funny thing is with this combination as well, you're finding that not everybody's cage is locked. Some, some people's cages weren't even locked and all they had to do was push the door open and walk out by themselves but it's because they've become so accustomed to a set way of living that it's almost like they trick themselves into thinking that they were helpless and, and powerless and this that and the next and, and you're just like that pulling open the door wasn't even locked wow Tell us more about this energy, thank you. Yeah, Ten of Swords. This has been coming out a lot in this month's reads. 
already. This is inevitable. An inevitable ending. Life as we know it is coming to an end. That's not a bit, that's not a negative. Not even remotely. As soon as people realise that they're actually sovereign and that they are free and that they've got every right to stand up and defend themselves and to get these people who are currently doing this to everybody else out of power, that's the change that we need. That's what's inevitable. That's the inevitable ending. These corrupt leaders that are currently in power are no longer going to be in power. Now you tell me what's so fucking negative about that, unless you're one of these assholes. It's not even remotely negative. It's beautiful. Tell us more about the Emperor and the Star, please. Thank you. Yeah. Look at that, Seven of Wands. See how everybody's fighting under there and in Europe here? speaking to people educating people telling people look guys why the fuck are you all fighting in amongst yourselves you are fighting the wrong ones and you're doing it on some kind of platform as well where everybody can see and everybody can listen where they can put down their arms and stop fighting each other and actually turn their anger towards the people that they should be turning their anger towards. You being held in high regard, high esteem, as a, as a good influence, that's the part that you play. Because you're telling these people, stop fighting amongst yourselves, guys, with love and compassion. Showing people a better way of doing things, a better way of treating each other. A better way of living. Wow. That message came through super, super quick. Um, I, I struggled with the Leo read because it felt like that the message wasn't coming um, very easily. You know, for me anyway, it was a very confusing read. Uh, but your message, Virgo, that's come through super fast, super strong. It's really, really good. Um, now, you would have seen that that card changed position so obviously it wanted to come out i am going to take another message for you as well we're going to get a jump in one the ano the anomaly so virgo yeah you're very very different you felt different your entire life you've always known that that there was something um that you were supposed to do in this lifetime and you were absolutely correct you see how that's a, that's a white raven that's super super rare super rare. You stand out from the crowd. It doesn't matter what your current job is. It doesn't matter what your past was. It doesn't matter what your social status is. You're still this anomaly. You still, you, you still have this feeling of th there's, there's a better way, a new way, a different way. And again, will you be in this spiritual healer type person it's incredible sacred space number 43 let's take a look maybe your sacred space is your nest your home or maybe it's the beach or just your favourite path in the woods. Sacred space may also point to an inner place, a belief that you hold dear. It is a place that brings comfort and nurtures your development, and this is your sanctuary. When you receive this card, it is a call to rejuvenate your spirit. It is time to connect with the healing energy of your sacred space. Make time to connect with this space as it will help you to centre your energy and recharge your spirit. So for those who are feeling currently exhausted with the current state of things, it's time for you to 
recharge your spirit, cleanse your space, cleanse your body, create a sanctuary that, that you can go back to and, and, and relax in and, and just, because again, like a lot of you are spiritual sponges and you're going to be taking in everything at the moment. So it's super, super important that you do take frequent breaks away from people, away from the fights, arguments, unrest, away from media, away from the frustrations, and, and really create that place of, of sanctuary where, where you can retreat and recharge your energy levels, ready to come out again and and keep keep fighting the good fight. Wow. Else, please, for the Virgo Collective. Thank you. <laughs> Stay wild. Yeah. Um, so continue to do things in your own way with your own unique little spin on it. OK, because ultimately that is what's going to help you even more to stand out from the crowd. OK, if everybody's the same, then eventually <clears throat> you're just going to get lost in the crowd. OK, so stay wild, stay unique because it's helpful to you. Okay. Stand tall. Yep. Mm hmm Be fabulous. <laughs> Bitches get stuff done. Yeah. That's your drive, your ambition, your adamance to succeed. You're going to get stuff done. There, there might be um, certain individuals around you that make you feel like you're out of your depth and that you, that you need to remain small. And they, they could do this by means of basically trying to um, criticize you to the point where you feel like it's pointless. It's vitally important that you take a closer look at them and, and why they would benefit from you staying small. Because right now, you're supposed to be standing tall. So don't let anybody cut you down. <clears throat> okay, can we have another one, please, for Virgo? Thank you. Chop wood, carry vodka. <laughs> Cheers to enjoying life. You're welcome. Now, that's interesting because that's like uh, chop wood, carry water, isn't it? Um, <clears throat> so that's uh, y your, your duties, your routines, get, getting through day by day. It's very sixth house energy for that reason. Cheers to enjoying life. You're welcome. So I'm getting the impression, Virgo, that you're actually going to enjoy this process. Even though it's a difficult one, I feel that you're going to enjoy it because you're going to make it fun. Hakuna Moscato, a toast to no worries. A lot of alcohol. There could be a lot of celebrations coming. Uh, you, you leading the celebrations, you being the host, of the celebrations. It's beautiful. Again, like routines and then no worries. So that's literally combined a better way of living. A happier way of living. Where people are actually going to have time to enjoy their lives. That's beautiful. And that that's what we're all looking at. That's what we all have to look forward to. Once this um, 
Should we just call it process once this process is complete? Mm. Okay, so I'm going to need to leave that one there, Virgo. If you feel that you could benefit from a personal reading, then you can place your book in at phoenixkiataro.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.